When I tell you today's been a busy day, I mean today's been a busy day. My motivation comes from like my willingness to prepare and plan my week. What am I most passionate about? What is a priority in my life? What do I hope to achieve this week, this day, this morning? San Diego, California, and I am going to be speaking at the Fitness Business Summit. I was asked by Bedros Koulian uh, to come in here and share a message. So I spent a little bit of time um, thinking about it, what I wanted to have 1,000 people hear me talk about. You know, it wasn't my NFL career. Um, it wasn't what I've done as an entrepreneur. It wasn't what I've done as a father. It wasn't what I've done as a husband. It's the formula that I use who, that has helped me to be able to set goals, achieve goals, and not only find success, earn success, but more importantly, prosperity and fulfillment in my life. So, you guys stay tuned. I'm about to drop the formula for prosperity on you. Really looking forward to it. Business Summit oh, went freaking incredible this morning in the gym, Carney Training Facility, the place where I've spent every NFL offseason in preparation to build the best version of myself. And now we're back. 
for Armageddon. Business Summit, which I thought went wonderful. Got some great feedback, really, really enjoyed it, and met some really fun people, took some selfies, then from there, uh, went to Kearney Training Facility, did Armageddon for like an hour and a half, and then from there, went home, spent some time with my family, and then from there, uh, the highlight of my whole weekend, and that is hosting my charity event with John Carney, the dinner with the pros, and last year we raised $470,000 in one night. Everybody's got women in their life. My mother, uh, my grandmother, rest in peace, and my three daughters and my wife, and my baby sister. So for all of those special women that I have in my life, it means so much to me to be able to donate the proceeds from tonight's charity event to Veronica's Home. Veronica's Home is a place for pregnant women and women with children um, to find shelter, food, love, emotional um, support and rehabilitation from psychiatrists and people that will literally just listen to them um, and also provide shelter and protection. Because a lot of the times, nine out of 10 times, the person who is abusing um, that young woman or those children is also the person who is providing food and shelter to them. So they're really trapped in that relationship so uh, the Veronica's home benefits from all the proceeds of tonight's which is really awesome I'm very very proud of that but also very proud of the different celebrities who fly in from all over the country to help me help these women and I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of inside of this beautiful charity event that I am so proud of please give a nice warm welcome for John Carney and Steve Weatherford come on up guys How's it 
How's everybody doing tonight? Come on. How's everybody tonight? There we go. Uh, guys, just wanted to welcome you to Dinner with the Pros, 11th Annual. Just wanted to thank everybody so much for being here. Um, I'm blessed, I'm fortunate to be uh, standing next to and dear friends with John Carney. Um, he's been incredibly impactful in my life, uh, a, role, a role model to me uh, more than just as an athlete, as a father, as a servant to others, and uh, very, very thankful and grateful for his impact on my life and my family's life. Um, very thankful for you all being here tonight. Um, and very thankful for the celebrities who give up their very precious time to be here to make this night special. Our, our How many of you uh, here, romantic here devils out there would love to have a, a night stay at the uh, La Costa Omni Resort? At the Omni Resort and then event every year gets better and better and better and that's saying something because this is our 11th year. Will Blackman was a teammate of mine for two years, New York Giants, Super Bowl champion. He was pretty much the guy that I punted the ball to. I mean, he's the reason I have a Super Bowl record for most punts inside the 10 yard line. Um, enabled me to have the greatest game of my life and the biggest game of my life and now he's back to continue to support me to raise money uh, at dinner with the pros, and I freaking love the guy. So we just we just auctioned off my signed jersey, John Carney's signed jersey, uh, lunch, and a two-hour workout. Who bought it? Will Blackman. Did you just did you just pay? Did you just did you just pay? Did you just pay fifteen hundred dollars? We're we're doing a two we're doing a two hour Armageddon workout. No, you won't you won't die. Your arms will fall off your body. Coming to the home, I have changed every has changed everything for me. In the short time I've been here, I've completed much of my case plan. I no longer have to worry about my son's birth. He will be born this May. My daughters have a place to come visit and will soon be returned to my care. I now have a supportive and loving environment where I can further end my education. I plan on attending San Bernardino Valley College this fall and completing my business management degree. I happen to be an amazing cook and see myself owning and operating my own catering company. In the future, uh, this home has given me a solid foundation. This home makes it possible for me to reach my dreams. This, makes, this home makes it possible for many of us, women in my position, from all socioeconomic backgrounds, to reach their dreams as well. Thank you very much. So I had to step outside and um, and it's always incredibly heavy and emotional whenever one of the young ladies who benefits from Mary's Mercy Center or the Veronica Homes gets up there and like shares their testimony of how much that's changed their life. Um, maybe the emotional state or how impactful that story was didn't come through on this video, but hopefully it did and you guys can realize how special an event like this is for people who literally have their life saved um, by the monies generated uh, tonight. But it's all about appreciating the blessings that you do have in your life. And when I hear stories like the one that young lady just shared with us, it takes a lot of courage to get up and talk about a relationship that you had like that and to be able to be saved on the other side of it and have the dreams and aspirations that she has even after going through what she went through as a mother and as a wife to have the courage to share that story and that struggle and still have big dreams and big aspirations for her life the way that she does right now so pretty heavy stuff man i'm fortunate very blessed to be a part of it